G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. If you've watched any of these router bit videos, you will have seen me spend countless hours, actually probably less because we edit it down, under the table, adjusting the height, getting a really accurate adjustment of the fence, measuring, re-measuring, cutting, re-measuring, doing it all over again to get it perfect. This machine, it's called a Ready to Route by Next Wave, combines their Ready to Route system, which is a digital fence, and Ready to Lift, which is a digital router lift. So you can input a value, it goes exactly to that value and it is spot on. And the height does exactly the same thing. So you can see how this is going to make a huge improvement to accuracy, um, how quickly you can perform operations and especially repeatability. Even if you never run any of the applications on this controller, the fence itself is still a super useful piece of equipment. Basic premise is you tell it the diameter of the bit, you tell it the position of the bit in relation to the fence using a touch plate, which is super exact. You do the same with the bit height, and then from that point it knows where the fence and the bit are at all times, and everything else just leads on from that. If you're changing the style of the bit that you're using, or the diameter, you just need to input that back into the controller and make sure that it's set up appropriately. But this knows where it is now. All I have to do is I can move the fence using the controller. If I want to put in an exact value, I can just put in 20 millimeters, press move. It's going to move the fence to within 20 millimeters of the blade. If I want to set the height of the bit to, again, whatever I like, 20 millimeters, it'll bring it up and it'll be set exactly. I mean, that's just so simple. The motors are very accurate. I can set this to move within um, 0.1 of a millimetre, or possibly even less. No, 0.1 is the smallest fraction it will move in, but it does it perfectly. So I can hear you saying, so what, this thing can measure. You know, I can measure, I've got a ruler, I've got calipers. And that's true, this is quicker for one thing, hands down. But also, it has the ability to save a whole bunch of positions, which include router height positions, bit height, and fence position. So if you have a job that you do all the time, maybe it's putting a small dado in a, a lip of a box and it's always set at the same height, you can just program that in. Every time you come back, you press go, goes to that position and you're ready to go. This means that you don't have to come back and reset every time you're doing the same job over and over again. And I think that's where this really becomes useful. It's not necessarily going to be saving you a ton of time if you're just doing a different job every single time, even though it's going to be more accurate. But if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you're coming back, um, resetting it back to a different job that you do over and over again, this can tell you exactly where that position needs to be without you messing around with it. And it's gonna be really quick, really accurate, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. had this for very long. The only app I've had a real chance to mess around with is the box joint, which it does very neatly. But I'll just quickly run through that now. It has a whole bunch of applications on here. So you just have to choose the one you want. Go to apps, choose box joint, press to run. And then what you need to do is make sure you've input the correct dimensions of the timber that you're working with, as well as the bit that you're working with, which you should have already done when you calibrated the whole machine. But in terms of the timber, I've measured this, it's about 140 millimeters, 0.1. That's the beauty of this machine, is you can put in those kinds of inconsistencies. It doesn't matter exactly what the timber is. Uh, and then it's about 19.3 millimeters thick. So I've input all of those values into the controller. And then what it's gonna do is decide how many uh, fingers it's gonna place on this joint. It's gonna evenly space them so that they look symmetrical. 
and it's going to decide that based on the dimensions of the bit as well, how many it can fit. And then it'll move the fence in increments as you do the cuts so that each one is in exactly the right position. All right, so these slide together just perfectly. They'd be fantastic glue surface. There's no gaps. It's really nice and flush. You could just give that a light sand and it would be good to go. And that's why, you know, I'm pretty excited about what this machine is capable of because doing something like that is incredibly slow by hand, especially if you need to do a whole bunch of them. And this just makes it really, really easy. I was so anxious to play with this that I haven't set up dust extraction, so I'm just throwing chips everywhere. Definitely set up dust extraction, it's not that hard. This controller has a ton more applications other than this box joint that we did. It has a whole variety of dovetails which work in a similar way. So there's half blind dovetails as well as full dovetails. It has an application for a sliding dovetail, biscuit joint, a keyhole bit which I'm really interested to try, uh, as well as a whole bunch of dados, repeating dados and fluting applications. So look, there's a lot on there. I'm sure they'll be bringing out more in the future, um, even within like the box joint, you could use this to make your own hinges if you then followed it up with some round over on these edges. The machine combined with your creativity and ingenuity will allow you to do a whole bunch of stuff with this. So working with a system like this is obviously a long way away from you know hand cutting these all by hand with a nice Japanese saw and some really sharp chisels. And there's a real joy in working by hand like that. But as a professional woodworker, I find it hard to make enough objects in that way and charge enough money to actually make my living. Whereas this opens up a whole bunch of joinery styles that I just really wouldn't have the time for if I was trying to do them by hand. So like, I don't mess around a whole lot with these types of dovetails and box joins. But this machine just kind of opens up that world that I could do this and I could make enough that I could sell them at a reasonable rate. So a good example of the way I might use this would be something like drawers. Often, they're not really seen that much, but if you go and put really beautiful detail in those drawers, your customer will really notice it. But it comes down to whether I can afford the time to put that into the piece. Doing this kind of joint on a set of drawers will actually take me less time than it would to do you know, some other style of joint that I'm gonna have to cut by hand. And that means that I can make my piece more beautiful and still charge the price that I need to to be able to sell these pieces like I do professionally. You can pick these up at uh, TimberCon. For more information, there's a link below that you can click on. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these videos.